Hello, my name is Dr. Sibuen, and in this video, I want to show you a new feature that is coming to Blender 4.4 called Slotted Actions. Slotted Actions make it possible to put the animation of different things into one action, so let's see how that works in practice. Let's do a vertigo zoom. I select the camera and I key its position. You can see that there is transforms there with a location and rotation. And now I also key the focal length of the camera, and you can see that it shows up in the same action on a different slot called camera. Now let's animate this. First, I start by changing the focal length to 23 millimeters and creating a key. And now I move the camera forward to make sure that the face is still in frame. And I press I to key that as well. And now we have one action that contains both the camera motion and the change of its parameters in one single action using these two slots. By default, Blender will name these slots after the thing they animate, but of course you can name them however you want. Here I name the first slot Camera Motion, and then you can double click on the channel as well and then just rename it there. So I changed this to Camera Zoom. What is also new in 4.4 are these slot selectors. Next to each action selector you will see a slot selector as well that lets you select a slot for that particular data. So the camera parameters there, you can only select the slot that is suitable for animating camera parameters. And for the object, you can only select slots that are suitable for animating objects. Now let's animate another object and make sure that that animation gets into the same action as we animated before. So I select the hat and create a key and you can see that this will actually create a new action for this object, just like Blender did before. And this is not what we want. So I'm gonna press undo. To share that same action, I just select the action first. I assign it to the object. It has no slots, it has no keys, but the assignment is there. And now when I press I, it will create a new slot for me and put it all into that action I just assigned. Let's move the key to where I actually want to have it and create another key. And there you have it, two objects and camera parameters all animated within that same action. You can see that there is still only one action and that we have a slot for each object. And this is basically how you work with slotted actions. There will be more and documentation will follow, of course. But now you know how it works.